Program 3 is about rice production in Eastern Southern Africa. In the region we're working in six countries. Those countries are Mozambique, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda and Burundi. Just some background about rice production in the region. Rice has been grown through many of these countries for the last 500 years. But it's only of recent times that rice has actually gained importance in the economy. At the present time, rice consumption has doubled in the last six years and is now something in the order of 20 kgs per head per year. Much of this rice is being imported. Across the region there is something over 1 million hectares of rice being grown and an, a an annual average yield of about 1.5 tonnes per hectare. Of that, 90% um, is grown in rain fed areas where yields are often less than 1 tonne one ton per hectare. In the irrigated areas, uh, yields were as high as 3 to 4 tonnes per hectare. The problem that we're facing with the rapid increase in rice prices is that this is going to really impact on the rural poor who actually use rice as their staple. In eastern southern Africa rice is, is now being seen more as a cash crop and as such we have to take commercial options in terms of production. The major constraints that we're facing are the same as those for all rice producers around the world. In this area possibly the biggest constraint is poor management and then it's poor utilisation of the resources which are often limiting. Water is often limiting as is the supply of, of good quality seed, fertilisers, arise with resistance to pest and disease, Pro uh, um, transport systems are often lacking and very expensive and also government policy actually in some ways is a constraint because rice is often the second or third food crop within the, within the country, so the other crops get priority by government. Our program is based about getting an understanding of, of what rice is and means to the people in the rural areas. And for that we have a fairly strong social economic component to the program where we're trying to understand rice across the region. Obviously plant breeding is an important component because across the region there are many diseases and pests that we haven't seen in Asia before and transporting our technology to this country we have to deal with, with another array and some of those th things like yellow, yellow model virus and, and other diseases which we have solved in, in Asia such as the blights and the blasts. Other areas that, that major problems are in, in fertiliser usage, often it's very sp sporadic, it's inappropriate and often not enough. Post-production is also another major area where losses are ranging anywhere between 15 to 40 percent. And farmers are also limited in their access to markets. So the farmers actually face a major uh, constraints in their production. Another area that across the region is lacking is actually trained people. Capacity building is also another major component of our program and we're giving major emphasis to it in, in the early stages. Presently there's less than 60 people actually in the six countries who are either trained or working full-time in rice. We need to increase this before we can make an indent on uh, the problems associated with rice production. The program we know is going to take a long time. Our goals are based on trying to improve yields by at least 30 per cent over the next 15 years. And the other side, as I mentioned earlier, is to try and improve the capacity of local people. Until we do that, we won't be able to attain our initial goal of, of uh, production increase.